This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a brand new guest, and you could say they're in the uh, social media space. The name of the company is findit.com. They're a social media campaign management. They uh, have an interactive search engine platform that provides uh, members the ability to post, share, and manage their content. And with us today is the marketing director, Peter Tosto. They trade on the OTC markets. Their ticker symbol is F-D-I-T. Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you, Everett, for having uh, me and find it on today. You know, You guys really have an incredible platform over there, and we're going to talk about that here pretty soon. What I've gathered, the research I've done, is that it's amazing. You guys can do 6,000 characters compared to to Twitter, only 140 characters. Give us the real platform of what Find It is all about. So what Find It is set up to do, Everett, at this time, and we're constantly expanding its functionality to highlight different useful features for people that are out on the web trying to achieve certain objectives. So right now, the way that Find It is set up and the reason why the comparison between the 6,000 characters and the 140 characters is made with Twitter is with Find It, many of our members, Everett, are business owners, and they have a message that they want to get out there, and they want that message to be clear and concise and sometimes limiting them to under. 140 characters, it's very hard for them to get a concise message out in one tweet in Twitter's case. On Find It, we give them various content verticals in one right now post, which is the equivalent of a status update on Facebook or a tweet on Twitter, where they can put in up to 6,000 characters. They can include in the same post a picture gallery, an audio file, a video link from either YouTube or Vimeo, They can pull in a press release if they put it out through Find It. We have a news platform as well. And they can include a link as well from Find It, the post, to wherever they want them to go. So they can redirect them with a link back to their own website. Now, I understand that you guys actually take it a little bit further than that. And maybe you can explain to myself and my listeners. You don't have to sign up for something. Is is that what I read about on one of your press releases? That's correct, Everett. So Find It is an open platform. And what we mean when we say it's an open platform, there's two meanings, two things that happen with an open platform in our case. So Find It, let's say that you are a member of Find It and you're posting content. That gives you the ability to go in and create status updates, up, upload press or news releases, and view other people's content and leave comments. But let's say that you're not a member. You can still go to Find It and view All the content that's on Find It, the only thing you can't do is leave a comment or publish your own content. But as a non-member or as a member that's not signed in, you still have the ability to view all the content that's on Find It. And what's really phenomenal about it is you can share the content that you see on Find It to other social sites. So you can share content to Facebook, to Twitter, to LinkedIn, to Pinterest, to Google+, to Tumblr, from Find It. So if you're a business owner or an individual member on Find It and you post content, other people can view your content without being your friend or following you, and, you, and they can share that content. So you get that benefit. The other part that's very important, Everett, from being an open platform is it gives Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and other search platforms, engines, to index all of the content that's posted to find it and have those posts and content that Google crawls and indexes show up in search results organically in Google's search engine. That is unlike other platforms that you need to sign in on. I can't view all the content on Twitter without signing in or content on Facebook without joining. I have to join. Tell my listeners how long you guys been in business, how you know how long you guys been around, and how do you generate your revenues? Okay, so Find It Inc. is the name of the company. Find It Inc. technically has been around since 1998, I think, and we did a deal back in around 2012 or 13, 
and around 2000, and I might get the dates wrong on this, 2014 or 15, we bought findit.com. So the name of the company is Find It Inc. We own findit.com. And we acquired findit.com. And since then, we've been rolling out the platform and building out the interactive search engine, which you mentioned, and the social media content management platform. The way that we generate revenues are there's several prongs in which we can generate revenue. We have the press release distribution service. We also own Transworld News. So people can send out press releases through us. The other aspect is through Find It Keyword URLs, which members can buy keyword URLs. It's an extension of findit.com forward slash. And we're seeing that the members that understand what a keyword URL can do for them utilize the keyword URLs to improve their online web presence in search results and through social sharing, which we just covered. So our revenues are generated from those two areas along with content management that we do for customers. So we have customers that hire our team, we're based in Atlanta, to create the content for them in some cases, not in all cases. So we have writers in-house that will create the content through the members find it accounts and then that content is posted to find it and it's shared through different social sites, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus. And so they'll pay us to do that to create better search results for them and an increase in search results so that they in turn can receive more brand awareness, more traffic, more engagement, and in the end, they want to generate obviously more revenues, the companies themselves. Other people may use it for branding. So we might have musicians and artists in the future that want us just to get their name out there and, and work toward building up their brand. The company that we're highlighting today on Stock Day is Find It Inc. They trade on the OTC markets, ticker symbol FD. IT and with us today is the marketing director of that company, Peter Tosto. Peter, recently you guys came out with a press release uh, today and yesterday about a new app launched on the Apple Store. Can you enlighten us and give us a little bit more information on that? Yes, thank you, Everett. Uh, so recently we were approved in the Google Play Store for Android devices a couple of weeks ago, possibly three. I don't know the exact date, and we were just approved for the Apple App Store on Sunday evening. So yesterday we went through and made sure that we were in compliance with how we need to put things out as far as the press release and making sure that their trademark symbol is identified Apple. So we put that out and um, what that gives people the ability to do now on a global scale is anyone with an Apple, an iOS device or an Android device, if in Google Play, can download the Find It app. And again, it's very similar to what we just described. You can download the app and be a passive user, let's say, of Find It. You don't even have to join. You can download the app and view content on Find It in the app without joining. If you want to join, we give you the ability with the app to do certain types of posts. They're a little bit limited compared to the web-based product. But they do give you the ability in the app to include still up to 6,000 characters. You have the ability to include a picture or picture gallery. You can still include a link to where you want to direct people to go. You can upload still a video uh, and share a video. So the features on the Find It app are really extensive as far as when you compare us to other social media platforms with what you can do in one post. Now, anyone ever that's downloading the app and using the app to post to, that content that's posted to the app is also housed on the website version of Find It, which still gives Google and Yahoo and Bing the ability to crawl those pages, absolutely, index your posts, and for other people to share them. One, how are you marketing the community, and how big is your community? Okay, so as far as the marketing of the community, well, I'll give you a quick update. So on the Google Android device, we did a little bit of ads as far as marketing. We spent about 50 or $60, quite frankly, in ads to let people know through an app ad company. And we got between 1,000 and 5,000 downloads in the first couple of weeks, according to the Google Play Store as of yesterday. The Apple App Store 
just got the app available now. So this is going to be uh, a new venture for us as far as we did the press release. So people are finding out through MarketWire and Yahoo and different news outlets that the app is available. The thing that we're going to be focusing on now is really going after some personalities that are popular and seeing if we can get them to start using the platform in conjunction with their other social media accounts. We don't want them to not use them. We want them to originate their post on Find It and then share the post from Find It to their Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google+, and Twitter accounts. We want them to push them out that way. Now, as far as the, um, the size of the community, again, we've been around for about 12 years, and about nine of those years was prior to Find It. So we have several different sites that we own, and people can use find it as well as those other platforms. So I don't have specific numbers right now to give you that would be completely accurate, so I'd rather not answer that at this point, only because I don't have specific numbers for just the Find It community because they do overlap with the other websites. Understandably. Now that you have your new app out, where is the direction of the company going and what can we expect in 2018? Well, that, that's a great question. And what we're working on right now with the app is we saw someone that wrote a review in the Google Play Store the other day. <clears throat> and one of the things that they said was, you know, I'm looking around to see how to find my friends and I can't find, my, I can't find any friends. Right. Now, be, because they wrote that, we do have, uh, we're going to probably call them followers on Find It. We call them friends right now on the web platform, but we're updating the app to allow you to view who your followers are. So there are certain things that Find It does that maybe these other platforms don't do, and that doesn't make us – that makes us different. Um, so one of the things that we're doing is we're adding friends. The big thing that we're going to be working on between now and you know 2018, besides the marketing of Find It from a technical standpoint, will be – a native app. So we're going to be recreating the app that we did, but making it a native app, which gives us more of the ability from a programming standpoint to include different ways of using pictures and putting pictures up that would be more similar to what other platforms and how other platforms are letting members take pictures, let's say on Instagram and Snapchat. So they, they do a great job of that. And we're looking at looking at some ideas that we want to emulate or use that are out there that are, you know, our, our programmers can develop. So that's going to be one thing as far as making the app, fine tuning the app. There's things that are there that we are aware of that we need to improve upon, but we wanted to roll out the app now so that people could take advantage of the organic indexing and the sharing capabilities. The other thing that we're going to be looking to do with the app, and this is critical for the platform and for the sharing capabilities to other platforms is we want to look at the API calls to the other social platforms because we, we want to leverage the, those accounts too for the members, where if you do an, a post on Find It, it can automatically be shared to your other social feeds provided that you grant us access to them. And that's one of the things that we're looking at now is the API calls to those other platforms to push the content out to them simultaneously as it's posted to find it. Now you can do scheduling posts on find it as well. So we're looking at some competitors that are out there. Now we don't consider the other platforms necessarily competitors. There are other business models that are out there that we are looking at doing something similar to that would call for probably another interview. We don't want to say that publicly at this point. Understandably. The stock that we're actually highlighting today is Find It Inc. The trade on the OTC markets, FDIT, trading around uh, almost five cents a share. And with us today is Peter, the marketing director. Peter, in closing, is there anything that you would like to get out to my listeners that maybe we didn't get a chance to touch upon? I think the main thing is, is that if people go and download the app 
whether it's on their Android device or their iOS, or they go to the web and they use the platform. I think it's very important for people to not necessarily make comparisons to other sites. Find it is set up to do things that are a little bit different than other social sites. And one of those things we covered earlier is the public aspect, the part where for now, find it isn't private. Find it gives people the ability to see each other's content. Find it gives the search engines the ability to index that content. Now down the road, we are going to be looking to create privacy settings so that if someone only wants to have friends and not have other people view the content, that's something that we're looking at. So if you're a new member of Find It, I think as long as you use the platform for what it's set up to do, you'll see tangible results. But I always make the comparison, it's like a gym membership. You can join the gym, <laughs> but if you don't go to the gym and exercise, you're not necessarily going to get the results. We want to encourage people that join Find It and download the app to actually use it on a daily basis to build their brand, to build their business, to build their reputation, to really take advantage of the organic indexing that happens and the sharing capabilities. And make sure on closing, Everett, that when you do do a post on Find It and you're back at your laptop, make sure that you share your own post to your other social sites. That's what really gets it going. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Make sure that you're putting it out there right away. Well, Peter, you said it all. I, I think you enlighten us today. Find it. You can go to their website. That's F-I-N-D-I-T.com, findit.com. They've got a new app uh, in Google Play and also the Apple Store. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Hopefully, you'll come back on the show in 60 days and give my listeners an update. Thank you, Everett. And one more thing for your listeners. When you go to Find It, check out the Find It URLs. We have it labeled under keyword URLs. You can watch the videos on the website. You can do a search for Find It keyword URLs and learn more about them. Those are incredibly intriguing, and the results from having Find It keyword URLs, we can explain if people want to call in to us. We can go over that. Thanks. Thank you, Everett. Bye-bye. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or this station.